Good morning, first graders. It's Ms. Current. I hope you've been able to get outside in this nice weather what we've been having. <clears throat> Today I'm going to read you a book called Swirl by Swirl by Joyce Sidman. It's all about spirals in nature. Well, what is a spiral? Do you see that snail up there? And you see how it curls around and around and around? We call that a spiral. And out of nature, you're going to find many of them. Let's see what other kind of spirals there are. A spiral is a snuggling shape. It fits neatly into small spaces. Look at that snake. See how it spirals around as it's sleeping? It does that when it hibernates. There's a spiral in nature and there's another snake. Oh, look up there. Look at the chipmunk. When it curls up into a ball, it forms a spiral. And over here, there's a woodchuck doing the same thing. Animals, when they curl up in a ball, they form a spiral. Coiled tight, warm and safe, it waits. For a chance to expand, spirals can open up. So now look at the chipmunk. It has uncurled itself and it has it's straightened out. There's a mouse that used to be curled up and it expanded out. And look, oh, there's the snake. Look at how long it is. Once it stretches out, that snake is a pretty long animal because it's not in its spiral. And up pops the woodchuck. It unspiraled itself. A spiral is a growing shape. It starts small and gets bigger and bigger. So like that snail's on the front, see it starts really small in the middle, and then as it goes around the spiral, it gets bigger. And then, oh, it gets bigger and bigger as it grows bigger and bigger. And look at this one over here. That's a huge snail. So as the animal grows, the shell grows, and so does the spiral, swirl by swirl. It unwraps itself one soft curl at a time. So now look at these ferns. They're all curled into a spiral right now. You see that? They're all curled into a spiral. But now you look over on this page and the ferns have opened up so that they're not curled in a spiral anymore. So spirals can uncurl themselves. A spiral is a strong shape. Look at that European hedgehog right there. Right now it's all stretched out. There's a, a millipede stretched out, but you can see it all curled in a spiral there. There's another, another snail. Now let's look at this hedgehog. It's all stretched out, but not fox wanted to eat it. Its outer curves protect what's inside. So when that fox comes along, the hedgehog can curl into a spiral with those spikes on the outside, and it makes it very strong, and that fox will not eat it. It knows how to defend itself. Look at this merino sheep with their spiral horns. Those horns are very strong. And now look what they're going to do. Those two male sheep are going to hit each other on their horns and the horns protect themselves so they don't hit each other on their heads. Those are nice strong spirals. A spiral reaches out too, exploring the world. Look at that octopus and each of its eight legs. At the end of it, you can see that spiral so it can spiral out and it can also reach out. So when it uncurls, it can reach out into the world. It winds around and around. Oh, look at those seahorses. Do you see how their tail spirals around the plants? And that way they flow in the water with the plant and it looks like they're part of the plant. That's a pretty nice thing to do. It's called the spiny seahorse. and clings tight, grasping what it needs. Look at that spider monkey. 
Do you see his tail? How it spirals around the branch so that he can swing? And look at that baby elephant. He's spiraling its trunk around his mama so he doesn't get lost. Whereas the mama is spiraling its trunk around the branch so it can eat the leaves. Pretty smart spirals in nature. There's the monkey again with its spiral tail. A spiral is a clever shape. Look at this giant swallowtail butterfly. Do you see that spiral right there coming out of its head? That's actually a proboscis. Can you say that word, proboscis? That's how it eats. So it doesn't chew things, it sips it up like a straw. So right now it's curled up, but look at this butterfly over here. It unspiraled its proboscis and stuck it in the flower and it sips it up like a drink. Pretty clever, huh? It is graceful and strong. Look at this spider web. If this spider web just had those straight lines, see the straight lines? Then it wouldn't be very strong. But after it finishes making its straight lines, then it goes to the middle and it starts spiraling its web around and around and around till it gets through the whole thing. And that spiral of the silk makes that web really, really strong so the wind can't blow it down. That's a pretty smart spider that knows that. It is bold. Look at those waves. Do you ever think of waves as spirals? When they curl around and crash onto the shore, those waves have lots of spirals. Look at those big waves over there, those big spirals. Yep. And it is beautiful. Look at these flowers. They all have spiral shapes. The, the rose, nice spiral of the rose. And look at this angel's trumpet. That has a spiral. There's a chrysanthemum. See how it starts in the middle and spirals around? There's a lily. Look at that beautiful spiral. And a hibiscus. And of course, the sunflower. That spirals around as well. Lots of flowers that use the spiral shape to create beauty. A spiral moves. So if you look at this ocean over here, oh, look at that. It swirls through the water gathering bubbles. So look at that. It's called a tidal pool. Kind of like a world. Have you ever seen the... You're, um, if you're taking a bath and you notice the water going down the drain, kind of forms a little funnel. Yeah, that's a whirlpool, a spiral out in the ocean. It twists through the air. What do you think that's gonna look like? Sure enough, there's a tornado and a tornado is a huge storm of a spiral. It stretches starry arms through space. Up in the sky, if you look at the stars, you can see the spirals formed up there in space. Or it curls up neat and small. There's those ferns that curl up and oh, there's the mouse. He's curled up for a nap at his nest. Warm and safe, a spiral is a snuggling shape. All right. So there's your spirals in nature. Now your job is to see if you can go outside and find some of your own spirals in nature. You never know what you're going to find in your backyard or your front yard or a park near your home. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye.